guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we have the Erin Condren Seasonal Surprise Box for Spring 2018. I have not opened it and looked in it um, because I want to see it for the first time on camera with you guys, but I did cut into the tape right here and that is all I have done. I want to tell you guys that she did, Erin Condren did a live video the other day on Instagram where she shared um, the products in the seasonal surprise box. I didn't know that's what um, she was going to do. And then I started watching it. And then I was like, oh, well, I kind of want to see them. Well, I don't. Well, I do. And so I watched a few of the products, but then I didn't have enough time anyway. And I turned it off. So I didn't see all the products. So I have seen some of it. And I wish I wouldn't have. I really wish I would have left it a surprise. So I wish she wouldn't even put that on Instagram um, until well after everyone's received their boxes. And so anyway, but I guess it's the same thing as me putting this video out there. I am like teasing you guys if you haven't got your box yet to say, oh, you can watch this video before you get your box. So that's bad too um, since we all receive them at kind of different times. But she put that out there when they were just starting to ship. And so, anyway, oh, it was really tempting for me, and I wish I wouldn't have watched any of it. All right, so let's get into this. That's a lot. <laughs> That's saying a lot. My box, the label is on the bottom, which is kind of nice. I guess they start putting the labels on the bottom to keep the top of your box looking nicer. So I like that. And I have no idea why I didn't just face it up to start with because I really hadn't looked at that and figured it out yet. But this is the top, and the label is on the bottom for the first time on my box. I like that. And her box has changed. It is kind of like a laminated feel. Not laminated, but it's more a slick, protected feel, like you might be able to wipe off dirt off of it. So this is the first box from her I've gotten like this. So it's not just the plain cardboard. And I'm wondering if all her boxes are going to this or is this just for the seasonal surprise? So I'm not sure because in case you don't know, her seasonal surprise box, you can flip, you refold it, you can turn it inside out and this becomes the top of your box. So you can use it for a gift box for something. And I really like that idea, reusing the box instead of just throwing it in the recycling bin. It's a pretty box. It's a nice box and she puts a nice quote on it. So, and now it even has a much, much nicer feel, you guys, with this slick protective coating on it. The quote in the spring surprise box is, change your thoughts and you can change the world. All right. So let's get into this. It was easy. This is all wrapped in tissue paper. So I just was able to pick up the whole thing and take it out of the box. And the box felt heavier to me, just the box on its own. Maybe it's the laminated cardboard. So, all right, let's get into this 2018 spring seasonal surprise box. Okay, I wanted to move the loud tissue paper out of the way. So that's all gone. And this is a really compact box. This is only my third box. So I, I've gotten fall 2017 and winter 2017. And then this is my third box, spring 2018. I loved the fall 2017. The winter, I didn't love that much out of it 2017. So let's see how I feel about the spring. This is really compact though. And then in case you're not familiar, she tells you with every product in the box that you get, if it's an exclusive, and that means it will never be sold on her site, or if it is a sneak peek, and it will eventually be sold on her site. It's just not there yet. So I will tell you guys as we go along, I will try to follow along on here. Okay, let's start with this pencil pouch. And this is a sneak peek. So this will be sold on her site. It looks denim, but it doesn't feel denim at all. It feels like a laminated um, pouch that you could like spill water on and it would be completely fine. It has a gold pool. And it's not easy to unzip, so let's just, whoa, I'm gonna knock my whole camera over. Whoa, maybe because this card was stuck in it, I'm hoping. Okay, pencils us in. Okay, you can get 25% off a pack of our signature markers, highlighters, or pencils. 
So I guess any of their writing utensils, they're giving you a code in here to get 25% off. Okay. Um, and they give you two pencils in here. Uh, a pinkish one that says, hello, lovely, and a red that says, live in full bloom. Those are cute. I actually do use real number two pencils a lot because I homeschool my son. Um, well, he uses them more than I do, but he's actually been using friction pens even more because they don't leave eraser bits. He can even use those in math. But these are really pretty. Um, I'm kind of picky on the type of pencil I use, though. I really like the Taekwondoroga. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And so I'm kind of a pencil snob when I'm using my number two real pencils. And usually the pretty pencils don't write the same and don't have the same type of lead. But um, so that actually isn't that big of a deal to me. This pencil pouch is cute, but not overly cute in my opinion. And also doesn't seem that functional. I have way better pen holders from Amazon, you know, pen pouches that I love and I have shown on my Instagram. And that is because it doesn't unzip to the edges. So it just seems to me like, I don't know. I feel like I want it to open easier and it might be kind of hard to full, pull your full size pencils out if you have like a whole set in there. I don't know. So, I mean, I will use this, but I'm not like 100% crazy about this. I wouldn't have bought this on her site. Okay, it zips fine now. So it was just that card, the card in it, the discount card. It zips fine. Um, so I will end up using this, you know, like maybe in my scripture study bag in the car that I used for school pickup or whatever, but um, I will use it. It's just not something I would have bought on her site and picked up myself. Okay, okay, the reusable bag. Okay, I will definitely use this for something or keep it in my car. Um, I like that. And what is this one? This one is exclusive. So I know they are giving these out at the Austin store. And wow, it's big, you guys. It's really big. You can use it for uh, grocery shopping or you can just keep it in your car. I know sometimes I'm stuck somewhere and I'm like, oh, I need a bag to carry something in. And you could have this little fold up bag in your car, which is probably where I'm definitely gonna keep it because it can fit right in my door. Uh, the handle looks like this. And I'm trying to figure out what this is for. Oh, that's the, duh. Sometimes I question myself. This just wraps around the bag to keep it wrapped in a little, um, to keep it wrapped up. So I will probably wrap this back up and keep it in my car. And yeah, that's that's a great reusable bag and it's cute and it's completely lightweight and can fold up to like, to literally nothing. You could keep this in your purse if you needed to keep like a reusable bag in your purse. And when I'm running into the mall, that's actually helpful. I actually usually bring like a canvas tote bag um, that I had gotten at Gap years ago into the mall with me because it is so much easier to carry stuff on my shoulder with that. If I buy something, then carry it in like the shopping bags they give you. So that could also be good to throw in your purse and carry in at the mall or if you want to use it for groceries. And I know I didn't fold it up neatly, but it folds really tiny and literally weighs nothing. So that's really nice, especially since an exclusive. So I like that because I can't go on her site and buy it. And this would be actually something that I probably would buy from her site, but I can't buy it. Hopefully they will offer them at some point. But right now, I think they're just giving them to customers at the new Austin store. Which, by the way, I'm only about four hours from Austin. And so at some point, I might make myself... Um, not make myself, I might make my way down to that store or if I just have to go down that way for something. Uh, this summer, my oldest son is going to a camp in San Antonio for church and um, I'm sure I'm probably going to have to drive one way. So I don't know. It all depends on if uh, how that goes, but I might make it to that store one day and film for you guys. Okay, let's get back into the box. That was kind of a tangent. There are two cards, it looks like, and one says, 
You are one of a kind with a rose gold foiling. It's pretty, but literally, you know, I kind of have a problem with this phrase. I kind of feel weird giving it to a friend of mine. I don't know. Like, I think they're one of a kind and I think they're awesome. This just isn't a phrase I would say to them. So, um, that's just, that's just me. I'm probably maybe weird. I like this card being blank. It has gold foiling on it and it's just a really pretty, um, floral design. And, oh yeah, they both come with stickers, which I really like. They come with the stickers. So I think getting note cards in these is good and fun. I've used one before. Um, so that's a good thing. Now patches. Um, I'm not a big patch person. These are adhesive patches. So this is something I saw Erin present on their live Instagram. And she showed that you could even put these patches on a planner cover, you know, to add three dimensional or on one of their hardbound notebook covers to add dimension. So number one, I'm just not a huge fan of really either want any of these patches. I just, I just don't see myself using them and sticking them anywhere is the thing. So, and I'm just not a huge fan of the design of any of them either. I don't know. It's just my personality and probably that I'm old, but, um, I can see it matches the cover she gave us and they show you there sticking it on the cover, but then you just, you always have that patch on the cover and you can't take it off. I'm sure. Um, it's adhesive, so I'm sure it stays on there pretty good. Okay. All right. And then you guys, I find myself talking too much in this little box because I'm, I'm seeing it for the first time and I'm just, I'm trying to figure it out in my mind in front of you guys. I'm trying to judge it. I'm trying to think of what I want to say all on the spot without even having seen it or touched it before. So pardon that. I know it comes across really weird and jumbled probably, but just imagine like I am just trying to work through it in my mind at the same time I'm showing it to you. Okay, these are some stickers just for spring and they're pretty. I can see myself using them in my planner. Um, I think they're interesting, they're unique. Oh, I haven't been telling you guys if they're sneak peeks or exclusive. Okay, the stickers are exclusive. These are exclusive so you won't be able to buy these on her site. Oh, and there's another sticker sheet. So these, honestly, I don't use that much. So these, they don't do much for me. I have plenty of these type that come free with your planner, you know, at the back of your Erin Condren, and I don't use these all up. But these I like for spring, uh, especially the cute like rainbow umbrellas, the Erin Condren umbrella, that might be one of my favorites. I really like that, the look of that watercolor. I like the bird in the sticker form and the cloud, the watercolor cloud's really pretty. So I really like those, I do. I'm definitely gonna use those in my planner. Okay, the patches, I never told you guys, this is sneak peek, so you will be able to buy these on her site. Okay, and the pencil pouch I said was a sneak peek, and this, the cover, is an exclusive, so you're not gonna be able to buy this cover on her site. Okay, I wanted to get rid of the loud bag there. Let's take a look at this cover. It's denim, for sure, like, you know, with embroidered flowers on it. I think it's cute for spring. I would use it for spring, summer on my planner. Um, there's what the inside looks like. Um, and there's the back. So I would definitely use this on my planner. I think it's cute. So this is an, um, an exclusive. This is an exclusive. And the sticker sheets are an exclusive. So these are the three exclusive things that came in the box. All the rest of this, so these are exclusives, the bag, the cover, the sticker sheet, all these things are going to be sold on her site. These are sneak peeks, the pencil pouch, the cards, and the patches. So that wraps up. I don't want to babble on any longer, you guys. That wraps up the spring seasonal surprise box. How do I feel about it in terms of the two other surprise boxes I've gotten? Um, the fall 2017 is definitely still my favorite. I think that this box is probably number two and the winter box, 
um, for 17 was probably my least favorite out of those three boxes that I've received. I will say that these boxes, for those of you that don't know, are $35. You do not have to pay extra for shipping. It's just $35 plus tax. And you're supposed to get, you know, more product in there than $35. They say it's $60 worth of value. I honestly don't see that. But that's, you know, that's just me because I always buy everything when she's having a sale and different, you know, different sales she runs and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's really fun to get a sur surprise in the mail. If she shows sneak peeks of other boxes, I'm absolutely not going to watch what's in the box. I liked hearing her explanation and her take on it, but I don't want to hear it until after I've gotten my box. And by then her video is gone because it only stays up 24 hours on Instagram, um, unless they're saving it on their Instagram reel. I'm not sure if they did that. I'd have to go check. So while I liked hearing her take on the items, I, you know, I want to be surprised. That's the fun of the box. And if I wasn't if I wasn't running this channel, I'm not sure that it's something that I would splurge on uh, four times a year. I would probably definitely get fall because that is like my favorite season. And then I might choose one other season to get, but I probably would not get the four boxes a year. But I'm glad I'm running this channel, and so I have a reason to get it. And yeah, it is fun to get a surprise. I would say for me, myself, I wouldn't want to watch anybody's video on this until I open my own box. And then I like to hear everybody's take on it. So that's just me. I like it to be a surprise. All right, guys, that's it for the seasonal surprise box for spring 2018. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Happy planning, guys.